This is a, a clipper laser Doppler interferometer, and what we're doing right now, we've just done a scan of a 6.5 inch uh, aluminum cone base driver for the AirPulse uh, Model 2 loudspeaker. This is a frequency of 515.6 hertz, and this is a, a 3D animation of the cone. We can look at the cross-sectional view that way to see this like the, the dust cap, the surround, and the cone in, in the cross-section. That's the 3D um, of the cone. And you can see it's, it's working like it's almost like a piston. You can go back to here, and you can see the speaker moving up and down, and it's staying fairly uh, linear up to that point. But when you get up to frequencies up, let's say, around here, which is 2,343.8 hertz, you can see this is a, it's a very uh, increased uh, parameter on, on the, the, the cone and actually look like this when it's running at these frequencies. We exacerbate the, uh, the magnitude a tremendous amount so we can look in great detail how the cone is actually behaving. And if you go to the cross-sectional view, that's exactly how a speaker cone behaves. And you can see that the voice code's moving up and down at 2,343 hertz. The cone has got virtually no representation of what the coil is doing, yet it still sounds musical. And that's what you hear, you, that's why all speakers sound different. It's the, uh, how the, 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 the cone behavior is in relation to the motion of the coil that makes the difference and the radiation pattern. You've got the radiation analysis here, and we can shift it down here to around here and see how it will widen out here. See, it's like almost like 180 degree dispersion. And uh, that's said, uh, when you get up to somewhere like here, when you look at the radiation analysis, it's like a polar response uh, through the dispersion of the speaker. You can see that's uh, 8,000, that's way above the crossover frequency of the driver. So that, that gives you an idea, see how, you can see how the, the dust cap is actually oscillating uh, in and out this way, how it's actually in, in, in severe breakup mode, uh, like oil canning. But that's, that's, that gives you an idea of, of how the speaker behaves at different frequencies. In order to get accurate measurement, we, we have to use a highly stable platform. So what we're doing here, we're using six inches of, of machined granite. Uh, that makes sure that this, this table is absolutely uh, no, no, it's isolated from any mechanical vibration the floor may have as you're walking across it. And uh, this is the device that we use for measuring the analysis of uh, loudspeaker suspension systems. This is uh, known as a, a voice coil spider or damper, and uh, it's excited on the other side by a massive uh, 18 inch uh, metal cone subwoofer. This is uh, this is how we do dynamic analysis uh, of, of loudspeaker suspensions. You know, when you do it statically, you don't really get the true performance of the speaker. So we, we do everything with dynamic measurement. And these things here, they're not like kids' play toys or anything. These are like actually machined weight that we add to the, the suspension of the cone, so we can see calculate the mass of the cone and how that works on the suspension system. 